Are we good? Hi, guys. Welcome to This Week in MLS. <laughs> I'm your host, Sasha Kleschen. Yeah. I'm joined today with Kaylin Carr and Susanna Collins from MLSsoccer.com. Welcome to Toronto, guys. I'm, I'm like mic dropping right now. Why are we, Why are we here? here? Uh, yeah, so Sasha's taking our job. What's up with that? You guys um, are always stealing my he, shine. He nailed it, man. Yeah. That was, I just want everybody to know that that was like completely unscripted. Like, he just did that. Yeah. He's got skills. That might be my guy. did you see that, but I, that, I, know. Oh, I don't man. know. It was that good. Um, hey, we're back in Toronto. We are. We <laughs> this is our hometown, There's basically. It's been time now. in a month that you and I have been in this city, but this time it's for all the marvels. Um, we've got a lot to talk about. Yes. We've got, as you saw, Sasha Kleshin, um is a guest on this episode. Also, Keegan Rosenberry yeah. stopped by. So this is this is a fun one, guys. Um, but let's start off. Let's talk about Seattle. Here they are yeah. um, in their first cup final. You and know what? for you, it's it's the younger guys, and I know one in particular, Christian Roldan, that you're... Yeah. I, I've been a big fan of Christian for a while. I, I went out to Seattle last year, and he was just getting some playing time, and I did a, a little profile interview on him. Got to know him a little bit as, mm -hmm. as a guy as well. Like, the nicest guy. He was staying after training. I had to wait a long time. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> he's putting in the extra work Good after work training, ethic. and you see it's paying off now. Yeah. He's had a great guy to learn from, Ozzy Alonso, of mm -hmm. course who's gonna get a lot of the plaudits, but Christian has been an integral part of this postseason run. I mean, I think he's been one of their most important players. Mm -hmm. um, so much energy, so much life covers ground, he's fearless, um, and he's got the skill as well. You know, he's able to find the right pass, pick the right pass, get it to Ladero. That combination in the middle has been so dangerous for them. Uh, Schmetzer, oh, yeah, he, he loves, loves him. talking about him. Uh, he just sort of lights up. And I, getting to know him a little bit, I, I, I feel the same way. Um, we also have to mention the other young guy. George Morris, we mm -hmm. all know about him. I mean, he's the way he has come on this season and gotten his team to this. To yeah, this point everybody talks market. about him, and sometimes you're like, oh man, why is they giving this guy all the hype? But it's deserved. And when I really stop and think about it, I think what he's doing is pretty unprecedented. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen rookies like Kyle Aaron come into the league, score a boatload of goals. Mm -hmm. But then you wonder, can they do it in the playoffs? You know, that's where that experience yeah. comes in. And I think in Jordan's case, he's got a very unique mental uh, makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's won a national championship last year with Stanford. So he's got a little of that mental toughness sure. that gets you through those moments where, hey, you're in Denver with a chance to go to MLS Cup on the road, gets a tough tackle from the mm -hmm. goalkeeper, McMath comes through him and is able to come up good in that time. So I, I think we're watching something pretty special here. All right, well, let's talk about Toronto now um, and the, the Obvious story there is Josie Altidore, who has scored in every single playoff game. He's who do you want to see a matchup with more, oh. uh, Roman Torres or Chad Marshall? I'm gonna go Torres, but I just like the, the big guys. I mean, but you, I mean, to your point, this is going to be a physical, match. yeah, and it's gonna be physical with in the midfield as well. I mean, when you watch those last two series, we were at both games, yeah. of course, you saw how physical they tried to be, uh, uh Colorado was with Ladero. You know, they want to kick him, they want to make him feel his presence. And the same thing with Javinko. Montreal was able to really frustrate him at times, mm -hmm. but also uh, uh, put a little, leave a little bit of a foot in, yeah. you know? And there's a part of that is gamesmanship. A part of it is really just to see how they respond. You want to wear on these teams. I've played in some of these games uh -huh. where, you know, you want to leave a little bit in on the guy if you can to see if he responds. Mm -hmm. The thing for, that's good for both of these clubs is these guys are tough. Yeah. You know, smaller guys, but they'll get up every time and, and dish it out a little bit when they have to. Uh, I, I really like both these guys. I think they're two of the best playmakers, along with our, our boy mm -hmm. Sasha, who will well, be joining us. Well, speaking that was so you teed that up. Ah, so it's like because, I work because in the media. Sasha Question uh, joined us for a little bit, and, and here's our conversation. Sasha, I don't know if you knew this, but last week, um, Kalen said that you were his MVP for the season. So, so what does that mean to you? Well, I have two people in America now who I'm their MVPs, <laughs> Kalen Carr and my wife, so Jamie at home. <laughs> you have some competition. But yeah, thank I was, you, Kaylin. I really appreciate course. that. No, I actually really meant it. I, I think all season uh, you were the most consistent driving force for your team, finished the top of the Eastern Conference, of course, and uh, it's been great to see you get the recognition, not only in MLS, but also with the national men's national team. team. So I was sliding in all the DMs of everybody who had <laughs> votes and uh, just like lying. couldn't get it done in the end, but congratulations on Thank an awesome you. season. Thank you. It was yeah. a good season. I think overall I can say it was uh, successful personally. i uh, obviously very disappointed I'm not playing in MLS Cup this weekend, but 
uh, to make my way back into the national team and to be best 11 and uh, you know the comeback we had after starting one and six with the Red Bulls so overall pretty successful. Well one of the guys that you play with on the national team Josie Altador he will be playing on Saturday now the Rebels you guys played them three times in the season the first two times you face them no Josie <laughs> third time Josie was there scored two goals mm -hmm. how does he how does he change the complexion of that team when he's in there from what you've seen as uh, playing against him and as a teammate? Yeah, I've gotten to know Josie pretty well over the past 10 years, and um, he obviously is a tremendous athlete, but a very good soccer player as well. And I think we've all seen over the second half of the season how confident he can be, and when he's confident, how dangerous he can be. So now in, in this playoffs, uh, he's been unstoppable. So probably going to be one of the key guys uh, on Saturday for the game. Um, very strong, very powerful. The, the ability to bring his teammates into the game as well, uh, and not only that, but to finish goals off. You know a thing or two about creating chances, of course, 20 assists. I think that's almost I a, think is that a record. That's the I first time since Valderrama. Now, you did just get a fresh haircut. You should have gone for the Valderrama, <laughs> I would suggest. It. Yeah, uh, we have the same mustache, though. That. Okay, oh, respect. Close, close uh, enough. Well, in this game, there's going to be two big-time chance creators, of course, uh, Javinko and then Ladero. Yeah. What stands out to you about each one of their games, and maybe what makes them a little bit different? I think they're very different, actually. Um, so they both are number 10s, but they play very differently, I think. So Ladero for for Seattle has the ability to drift all over the field and, and then obviously get the ball and start picking out his teammates with passes and then uh, finishing late runs in the box whereas Giovinco is hanging out more in, in kind of those those empty spaces when his team doesn't have the ball so we, you know when we play against Giovinco we're always talking about when we have the ball always having an eye on Giovinco for when the ball turns over because he likes to operate in that left channel and so then he cuts in on his right and he can shoot so uh, Giovinco for me is a little bit more dangerous because he, he can finish a lot more goals off himself and then especially on set pieces as well he's very strong but yeah two two very good little guys who are very crafty very good on the ball and obviously very good around the goal. Can we get your prediction? Are you allowed to do this? Um, How's it all you're gonna have to down? play these guys next year in the yeah. Eastern Conference yeah, remember that. So. Um, okay I'll say with my heart I hope Seattle wins because uh -huh. I don't want to see an Eastern Conference team win the title. Um, Fair enough. But my brain is telling me that Toronto, you know, they've done so well. They've really adapted to this new formation they've been playing uh, in front of their home crowd. It's going to be wild. I think Toronto gets the win. Speaking of adaptation, um, who, who do you think, we've been in Canada a lot throughout the playoffs, who do you think blends in better as a Canadian? And, and don't let the, like, overblown scarf thing yeah. uh, throw you mm -hmm. off. I don't mm -hmm. know. Susanna mm -hmm. looks like she could be from Brooklyn or something. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm yes. just kidding. Yeah, yes. she looks like a Canadian. She's all warm. Uh -huh. You and I look severely underdressed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, about, in this bubble. No it's about, it's no about surprise. preparation, yeah. fellas. California kids. We're both yeah. from you California. Learn, you could learn a thing or two from yeah. the Midwest gal, I'm uh, just saying. Also, what's the deal, man? On Twitter last week, I, had, I was ice skating and had the helmet going. <laughs> Giving me some grief I for the helmet. Was gonna What's be going on? I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> I Kaylin it, and I go way back. We played together what, what ten years ago, eleven years ago. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd see you wearing a helmet playing soccer, mm -hmm. but you got to do what you got to do. I think he needs to bring it back. <laughs> I think he needs to, yeah. to wear yeah. it more. I think it's trending it's now look. on Twitter. It's a real good look. I for think Kaylin needs to make a comeback. <laughs> Don't you call heard it, it a here, comeback. MLS technical director. Cool, I have to show all to myself. <laughs> it's what I this wanted. This guy should have been time. MVP, and he's saying he needs, you know, a little bit of help. <coughs> Ali Curtis. Oh God. All right, Sasha. Thank you so much. Thank for you being for having me, this. guys. This is such a huge day for this week in MLS because our next guest is Philadelphia Union defender Keegan Rosenberry. Um, apologies, uh, Caitlin was supposed to be here, but he left to get some lunch and I'm stuck here with his with his mic so oh oh hey nice of you to I just had to refuel a little bit uh, get some some snacks you know I Keegan I know it's the off season buddy you can like get down I don't know if you can get down with the flies <laughs> no that's okay eat it, just Keegan. for retired players you don't have oh. <laughs> burn Sick burn! <laughs> Sick oh, burn! Oh, oh, Keegan. Oh, and we any, just, any drops right. it. That's all right. Now I won't eat it. Oh all my right. gosh! All right, can we let's let's okay. let's let's, be let's, talk, let's talk real. Um, what a year for the Union! You guys make it to the playoffs with the emergence of you, Andre Blake. You sign Alejandro Bedoya. How excited? I are like you? Bedoya. You, you're it's your boy. How excited are you for the Union next season moving forward? Very excited. Uh, I think it's promising for the fans and, and the organization as a whole in the city. And um, you know, I think we're showing good signs as, uh, as the club moves forward. Um, and hopefully we can continue that next year. How is it being an all-star? 
here. Uh, I, was, I caught up. You were, you looked a little starstruck like the whole time. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to take it all in and, and uh, enjoy the experience, but it was fun. It was a good week. I had a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, we're here for the Big Cup final. Unfortunately for you guys, Toronto FC, the team that eliminated you guys from the playoffs, but I'm curious to find out what what you guys saw from them that you know doesn't surprise you the fact that they are now playing for the final. Uh, I think you know you look at the the talented players they have all over the field and, and the way that they can um, beat you and that's a, that's a lot of different ways. So uh, you've seen that throughout the playoffs and um, I think it makes us feel actually a little better, you know, that they're in the final and that we only lost to hopefully the, the cup champion. But um, but yeah, I think they just have so many ways they can beat you and um, you know they're not that sloppy at the back either. So that helps. Mm. Keegan, I was doing some research uh, before I came here. I, I actually when I was going to get the slices yeah, as well. He does his um, research. So I know you get a lot of the same <laughs> questions probably doing this media roundabout. But I noticed you played every single minute of every game <laughs> this season. Uh, did you know that, That's first crazy. of all? Uh, did you? Were you aware? It's only come to my attention like recently, but. No, I'm just messing with you. Sasha, Sasha told me to ask you that because you've been getting that question. <laughs> yeah, every, apparently I told him too much in the car. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I have a question about another rookie that's going to be playing on Saturday, Jordan Morris. Now, it's interesting. He scored his first goal in MLS against the Union. And before that, he was under some pressure. You know, people were kind of like, when is Morris going to heat up? After, after he scored and, and since then, what have, you, what have you seen from him that has impressed you so much, especially considering all the pressure that he was under? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the difference between us is he was obviously coming into the league with more pressure than I think you know any other rookie maybe ever so um, that's a credit to him and the way that he handled it um, I think maybe you should thank us for letting him get off the, the scoreless the scoreless <laughs> drought but um, no I mean obviously he's been uh, he's been excellent and um, I think you know he's really come into his own here in the playoffs and down the stretch and I think um, that's when you talk about players being most important to their teams is uh, when they make the playoff push yeah I don't know why Susanna keeps asking all the serious journalistic questions, and I, but I've got one myself this time. I, I, I've struck out so far, but uh, haircuts. I heard in the oh. locker room, it's going down. I just got uh, faded up yesterday here in Toronto. Not too happy with the results. <laughs> you think you could maybe fix me up a little bit, you know? I usually just scenes? do regular haircuts, but fix-ups are, uh, are a part of my new marketing oh, okay. employ. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I could, I, could do, I could do my best, nice. yeah. That's awesome, man. Man of many talents. Um, Got to get your prediction for Saturday. What do you think? Uh, I don't know if I have a score, but I think Toronto. Okay. I think the difference is the, the home crowd. All right. I don't I like know that. if that's what everybody's saying, but. but uh, listen, every, if everyone's saying it, there might be something to it. <laughs> enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the game. Thanks for doing this. Of course. And, uh, yeah, guys. Hey, man, if you want some pizza off camera. I might, have, I might have to take you up on that. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so Keegan didn't want any pizza, but he... I know. What was up with that? And he this... called me, he gave me a shout out for... He, uh, he, he gave you a good burn. Savage. Salad burn. Wow. Props to Keegan. What's up, um, Keegan? But he left us a little something. Hey! <gasps> our favorite. It's our favorite thing. Put this pizza box on. I'm going to let you go. Okay. Let's do the honors. Get ready. Bring on the Borg. Did you see that? <laughs> so good. So good. Um, one, more, one, more. one more. Did you see that? Simon. Relax, man. This guy is just like a lot yeah, happening for you, one man. Game left. Yeah. Um, okay, so my did you see that? Mm -hmm. It's actually okay. So you got to see the hawk again, Samantha the hawk. It's the the hawk at uh, for TFC, and it flies around to make sure the pigeons don't poop on all the fans. I call her Sam. Sam, you're on a first name basis. Yeah. Um, so my did you see that is you reuniting with Sam, but also I'm hoping for like a little squad reunion because I got to meet her as well. And you're I, always I think trying she likes to photo bomb Sam. I think and I. she likes What's me more than you. So yeah. that's it. That's, that's okay. Did you see that? Okay, cool. You gonna hit him? Oh. Felt good. Felt good. Felt real good about it. What I knew it was coming. Every time I know it's coming, but I still did. Can't. You see that? No. <laughs> okay. Um, I did you see that? Is actually where we are right now, the Toronto FC uh, oh, training ground. I mean, sick. this is amazing. It's so. You know, nice. I've been to a lot of different places in across the league, uh -huh. and this by far is the best it's, training ground I've seen. It's really, really From impressive. the restaurants, we're which the shout the out to the chefs, they cooked me a little we're something, in, we're in the bubble making right us now. our pizza. You know, we have pizza protected from the elements. Yeah. It's, no, it's, this this is really here. first class. Yeah, they take care of us well. Um, oh my gosh, Kaylin, you excited for Saturday? I can't wait. I like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm We're so excited so, for this game. We're so, so pumped. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, to, for all your continued cup coverage, stay tuned right here to MLSsoccer.com. The game kicks off at 8 p.m. Eastern. Big um, Fox. Big Fox game. You don't want to miss it. We will be there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.